It's update day in Fortnite once again and there's a handful of new map changes and hints to the future storyline of Fortnite that we need to go through. So sit your butt down for 5 minutes, press subscribe to help me get to 2 million subs and let's break down week 9 of chapter 3. It happened! A new POI has been added to the Fortnite island over in the mountain ranges on the west side. Before today, this spot was a snow-covered hilltop with a single chest spawn. And now, things are different. IO have successfully drilled all the way through from the underside of the island while we had our back turned and created the Grotto 2.0. Covert Cavern is here. This place is stacked out with weaponry, enemies and the return of the keycard vault. To get inside you'll need to take down a new mini boss, IO's Gunner. Do you remember what happened the last time we saw him? I'll give you a second. Yeah, of course you remember. He was in charge of pulling the lever during Jonesy's interrogation. This didn't go too well for him after the foundation used his face to turn off the machine. In game, he's a bit more angry and he also has a few superpowers too. So maybe it's time to get both the NPCs together in game to see who really would win in a fight between Gunner and Foundation. Who's your money on? Anyway, once Gunner is dead, the vault is yours for the taking. And wow, look at this place. Unbelievable amounts of loot, which without a doubt will make Covert Cavern a place to seriously take the sweats away from Tilted Towers. The IO facility has a few other tricks up its sleeve. Around the location are small outposts to explore, and some of these are connected by a toilet travel system, which could be a great way to loot up or run for your life. The silo tunnel is back again, and just like Chapter 2, we can shoot straight down and escape through it. The IO base is also home to one of the Battle Pass skins, the Ronin. He can be found, spoken to, and even challenged in a duel. This raises a little question about lore, as to whether the Ronin is part of IO, or allied to the Seven, or an entity all of his own. We've now seen him around both factions. We saw him playing it cool when The Rock started the chapter and told us stories by a campfire. And now, he's with the IO. Can anyone confirm Ronin's allegiance? The cavern is packed with detail, the dock is jaw dropping and shows us how they drilled up to get here and to expand. It's telling the story without words. One of the drills is currently here and it looks like this POI may be growing again in future weeks. And I'll keep an eye on it just in case you don't. IO are here in numbers and nothing has been left to chance. You can find a kitchen, a gym, a shower room, sleeping quarters and even relics from previous versions of the island. This was a well orchestrated plan, but there's also a few easter eggs and secret rooms you should find here. Away from prying eyes using the ventilation system, it's possible to locate a few hidden rooms. One has two PC setups, gamer chairs, slippers, cuddly toys, and enough milk and fish products to last a man-sized cat a very long time. Another room has books and board games and a golden llama? Is this giving you thoughts of another season of Fortnite? The easy explanation is that these are all reused assets from Chapter 2, or they could just simply be an easter egg nodding back to those times, or this could be the first step in the return of Midas and his crew. We've seen hints to Sky and Meowzles, and the whole place is a giant nod to the grotto which Brutus was once in charge of. On the other side of the map we've seen Midas' golden M, and putting all these things together it could be a hint to the return of the man in gold. That storyline has so much more to offer, and I for certain would love more Midas in this story. There's a few random things brought in by this update. These were spotted by FN Assist, by the way. Over in Coney Crossroads, you can find this. I have no idea what it is or why it's here. Has it fallen from the sky? Maybe from the side of a building? Or could a hurricane have put this object here? But it was never reset after the end of the loop. Whatever it is, it's weird. So go hit it until Epic have realized they've made a mistake. Also, down in Kondo Canyon, the dumpling store is preparing for Chinese New Year. 2022 will be the the year of the tiger. Does anyone know which animal is their birth year? I'd check, but I've got a sneaking suspicion mine is the year of the rat, and my self esteem can't handle that right now. Let's go back a week to make sure we haven't missed anything on our journey to document all changes on the island. The biggest impact in the last update was pizza, so yeah, I decided not to cover that. But also that week, there was the arrival of the third IO drill this time just above the Daily Bugle. This one is named Dash and is the third letter of five drills which will spell out order. There are two more coming before we meet again. Team Epsilon will arrive near the centre of the island and finally Team Raven will surface just outside the Jonesy location. That means IO are almost ready to put their plan into action, whatever that plan may be. 
there is so many IO NPCs on the island right now, they may have the upper hand over the seven. Last time we met, we looked at a new NPC found south of the second IO drill in the desert biome. I mistakenly thought she was roughing it, and it turns out when I visited there, a Columbo had destroyed her home and everything around it. But I went again this week and she has a lovely building and crops and a mine to call her home. Haven's masks are now available to unlock in game. So embrace your inner Majora's mask or pretend you're Kana and start collecting. Okay, what, what, what is that mask? A little thing that was sort of surprising over at Crackshot's cabin saw the location remain rather than being removed after Christmas, but now look at it. It's been abandoned and the windows have been boarded up. This marks the last winter decorations being removed everywhere on the island as snow finally goes away in the next week or two. I kind of don't like snow, so I'm happy with this. But how do you feel about not having a snow biome in Fortnite? Okie dokie, on to the law part of the episode. As the season began, we'd been running errands for the thickest member of the Seven, the Scientist. It became apparent that he wanted an estranged member of the Seven to rejoin them to help them take down the Imagined Order. That of course is the Paradigm. Last week he sent out another rocket into the atmosphere above, and once again he stealthily attempted to contact the Paradigm without us noticing. If you haven't heard it yet, here's what he said this time. Hey, uh, Paradigm, uh, it will not surprise you to learn that you remain public enemy number one for the seven. I'm trying to convince them to welcome you back with open arms, but I can't promise that it'll be a cakewalk if you come back. I'll do what I can. And this time, I'll have your back no matter what, like I should have the first time. So something definitely happened to cause a fracture between Paradigm and the rest of the team. I personally believe it was due to Singularity's mech cracking the zero point all those years ago but that theory is not proven at all. It appears that the scientist is not giving up on the only female member of the Seven we know of and keeps haranguing her to come back every week. So far, not a single word from her. These audio logs must be leading somewhere. He's mentioned her five times in nine weeks so far. And if she is the singularity, that exposed monster skeleton will certainly get her attention soon. And over by the Devourer Corpse, the audio cues have been updated again. Take a listen. Weird, isn't it? It's just weird, right? <laughs> it's like it's alive under there. Now we just need to figure out what the hell is going on and who is responsible for it. I wonder if the scientist knows. Before I go too far into predictions and guesses, let's stick with facts, so I'm going to call it there. Thanks very much for sticking around. Thank you so much if you've used code Adamaru this week, like these legends here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Adam. You're awesome. I'll see you next time. I'm taking the Foundation to Gunner to see them fight. <laughs>